Hi everyone, in this new tutorial I will show you how to create a complex bricks material with some texture image on support. Um, so, as usual, first of all create shader or V-Ray bridge is equal, V-Ray advanced material, that's the standard V-Ray material for anything material you want to create in Cinema 4D for and V-Ray. Rename it uh, Bricks Texture, maybe? Maybe yes. And in the diffuse layer with the support of this texture, you can download it uh, not for free but uh, from polygon.com. I will uh, put the link in the description of the video and uh, with uh, one of these to diffuse variation of this shader I want to create a basic shader for this material so I pick this color variation 1 and put it on my texture now I'm gonna assign it to my uh, shadow ball to see what happened in my viewport and as you can see I have uh, some poor resolution in my viewport so for um, see better the results of my texturing process I'm going to options in my material editor and in my map preview size I'm gonna to set it up to 1k maybe yeah good as you can see I now I see better my text so I have a little bit of problem of stretching on my shader ball so I gonna to maybe increase the dimension in height maybe 0 0.75 and duplicate all of this value of I2 to see a little better my texture maybe for me it's good for this example but you you can tweak it in your wall as you as you prefer like playing with you mapping of the of your wall or anything else so return to my material editor and um, setting up some other settings for creating a more complex material like the the previous brick shader that I prepared for you in the previous lessons I wanna help me with some little texture here mm, maybe the first one is to activate my bump and I will uh, use this normal map for it so I'm gonna paste it my normal and set it up in normal in tangent space as you can see if I turn off sorry turn off my shader I have my diffused layer I have the bump of these uh, walls too okay I'll place it to this activate my specular layer reduce a lot the power of this or maybe we can try a different approach using this reflection of this material so oh, sorry I wanna apply this to specular color maybe it's it a very spreaded spread it out reflections so uh, maybe we can try to uh, reduce the amount of it by mixing it in maybe we can try with 0 0.75 yeah we have, we have a little bit of bright spot here that we can help us with realism maybe we must try and after set it up this basic material maybe we can apply also my brick glossiness map on my 
reflection glossiness texture this is to heavy again so I reduce the intensity maybe 0.3 can work let's see what happens by rendering with a quick render that it did and see what happens in render okay as you can see I have a really really good starting material and I think there's a little bit of problem with this um, gaps here so I wanna to see better I maybe I can try to enlarge a little bit my texture only for this example is not uh, your case you can you must uh, uh, Put your texture in the way you in the way you want to to, to represent correctly your scene. I give you only a, a, a technical me method to re replicate correctly this material, but in a, in a, like the artistic way, it's up to you. It's your work to. Uh, better place in your scene this material like uh, uh, UV dimension, UV tiling and so much more so let's jump to my bump and maybe we can try with an amount of 2 maybe to so see what happens and maybe can disable it for a while and see the differences here one mm, I think two is better yeah it's good for me reactivate my map and maybe we can add a little bit of dirt to this by create a layer and with my brick displacement I use it for create a little bit of ambient occlusion or faking ambient occlusion on my diffuse layer so I don't want to use it at displacement but uh, because I have already the bump with the normal map uh, settings for the roughness of my material so I and uh, because the displacement map is very heavy to calculate and I think is maybe in more in many scenes if you don't want a cinematic or very very realistic look of your shaders you don't want to use it uh, go to create a shader bitmap no sorry I want image sorry go to my uh, correct folder and open up my brick displacement set it up to multiply and as you can see, I have created a very grand bricks with this. Maybe we can try to lower it up this the power of this texture, maybe five fifty percent, maybe seventy-five. Yeah, seventy-five is good. So let's compare without this texture. Yeah, very good. And maybe I think it's a good idea to increase a little bit of specularity by reducing this map in this case and I think uh, maybe this map to 0.50 yeah let's see what happens
Okay, as you can see, I have more gaps gave me by the normal map of this shader, and I really like the grungy effect it, uh, that gives me this type of uh, uh, displacement uh, used by ambient occlusion mode in ambient occlusion mode. So, for me, this material is good. I hope you enjoy with my tutorial and uh, I hope this is helpful for you. Follow me here on YouTube and on Instagram. See you at the next video. Bye!